My name is Stuart Fox, and I'm an exhibition developer at Liberty Science Center. That means I write the content that you read in the exhibition and help develop the ideas behind the different experiences. I've been working in exhibitions for about three years. Before that, I was a science journalist, and before that, I actually worked at the Field Museum in Chicago in a uh, research and collections management capacity. Working on Beyond Rubik's Cube has taught me a lot of things. For one, it taught me how to solve a Rubik's Cube, which is, really comes in handy at parties. But it's also helped develop me professionally. Working on this project has really taught me how to take an audience point of view and learn to develop exhibitions by looking at it from the perspective of the visitor. Anytime you work on a museum and exhibit, you learn some unexpected new things. That's part of the fun of developing exhibitions. This time, what I really did not expect was the level of interest that some people had in the Rubik's Cube. I knew it was broadly popular, but I assumed that people sort of thought of it as a fad, you know, something from their past that they picked up and had forgotten about decades ago. In fact, there's a vibrant, still alive community of people who are really intensely interested in the subject. They collect cubes, they study the cubes, they build their own puzzles, and I was totally unprepared for the intense level of enthusiasm that some of these collectors displayed. The most rewarding part of working on Beyond Rubik's Cube has been the opportunity to interact with the amazing personalities that have supported this puzzle over the decades. Whether it was meeting the inventor of Rubik's Cube, Erno Rubik, talking with the people who first developed some of the algorithms for solving it, or getting to interview some of the artists who have made wonderful creative works based on it. Getting to see the different ways in which this puzzle can generate a very honest enthusiasm was a very, very interesting and fulfilling part of the project. As the project wraps up, I'm especially excited to finally see the exhibition with people in it. It's one thing to test all of these different experiences on your own or go through the gallery when no one's there to see if everything's working, but the rubber really meets the road once the visitors arrive. Seeing the first bunch of kids get in there, start playing with the different experiences that I designed, knowing that they're learning the material that I helped develop, that's really the brass ring, and I'm excited to finally experience that after working on this project for so long. Mm -hmm.